Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton, and today I'll show you one of the best upgrades you can do to a Prusa i3. So, let's get to it. So guys, this is a Prusa steel frame, and it's an upgrade like no other. Let me explain. So the thing is that the frame of the original Prusa is quite flimsy. It's mostly made out of threaded rods and doesn't even have support in the back. That's actually one of the first upgrades I did to my printer and it kinda worked, but it's still not very stiff. This frame is meant to solve that plus a lot more, so let's take a look at it. Just like the Prusa i3, the design of the steel frame is also open source, so it is manufactured by different companies. This one is made by Orbila Printing in Spain, and by the looks of it, it is high quality. The paint job is really good and all the parts are perfectly cut. I will also be upgrading to dry line bearings for smoother movement. Okay, let's just get started with this. But before we start building the other frame, let's tear this one apart. <laughs> no, seriously, let's, let's, let's tear it apart. There are some things in the printer that you may not have to disassemble, like the x-axis and the bed, which you just slide in later. The motors and the electronics are the only other parts that will be reused. The assembly of the frame is actually very easy, you'll probably only need a screwdriver and a small wrench. You'll also need to buy a hardware pack, which includes screws and safety nuts to assemble it. Start off with the three largest pieces that make up the main frame. Simply slide in the back supports and secure them tightly with screws. Then you'll need these two pieces, which help square the supports with the frame. Again, make sure they're very tight. You can put that aside now and get these two long pieces. These two small ones and these other two with a huge hole in the center. So in the center of one of the long pieces, attach the two small ones. This will be the front of your printer, with the small pieces being the y-axis idler. To the other long piece, attach the two larger parts. This will hold your y-axis motor and be the back of your printer. The gap here is quite weird, but I'll show you how to fix it later. So, once the two sections are assembled, move on to attaching them to the rest of the frame. Again, make sure to tighten the screws firmly. Next, you'll need these two pieces, which are similar to the ones used before, but also have a smaller hole for the steel rod, plus these four triangular parts. Insert two of the triangular parts into the larger one. These will become your supports for the Z-axis motors and the smooth rods meaning they should be secured in the lower section of the frame. This is what they should look like. To attach the Z motors, just raise the frame and slide them from below. If you have an adjustable Z end stop mount like this one, now is a good time to install it. Next, you'll want to get these two pieces that look like horns. They go at the top of the frame and are used as a spool holder. Just scavenge a small piece of threaded rod and a couple of nuts from the old frame. Now, you'll want to insert the Z axis smooth rods into the frame. Now this is why I did not completely disassemble the x-axis, I just have to make sure it lines up and slide it in, making sure that the threaded rods enter straight into the couplings. This will be flimsy so be careful. To secure it, get these two parts which secure the top of the frame, making the z-axis super rigid. Also don't forget to tighten the couplings. Next insert the y-axis smooth rods, but only halfway through, because then you'll take your bed and slide it into the smooth rods before pushing them completely in. Now you just need to finish adding the electronics. In my case, I first spray painted my power supply for a more stealthy look. I then attached it to the support area of the frame with two screws. Then I attached the Arduino Mega horizontally to the other side. Then I connected the ramps to it, and next I set out to do the best cable management I could. And...
This is what I ended up with. And I know what you're thinking, where did all that green come from? Well, long story short, I found a collection of designs in Thingiverse specifically designed to make this already awesome frame even better. Such as an adjustable X and Y axes, a different Y axis idler, and a spacer for the Y motor mount, eliminating that weird gap. I also had to print a new extruder, as the old one made the motor hit the frame. Overall, this frame is one of the best upgrades you can do to a Prusa i3. Just look how rigid this thing is. It moves the whole table rather than bending and vibrating. This also translates directly to print quality. Look at these two benches. The one to the left was printed with a new frame, and as you can see, the tiny ripples and ghosting are gone. And vase mode looks simply beautiful. Prints come out baby skin smooth. Just look at this space rocket, it looks amazing. I even set out to print this skull. It printed very nicely without any imperfections. This would have looked horrible with my previous frame. So in a nutshell, this frame is probably the best upgrade you can do to a Prusa i3. And the printer's rigidity will give you the confidence to transport it without the fear of damaging or misaligning it. What's cool is that it will work with most clones, just make sure that your smooth rods are the appropriate length. I will leave that in the description. The only downside I see is that it is much heavier, but orbital printing has you covered. If weight is a factor for you, they also make an aluminum version, which is much lighter. But if that isn't enough, you can use this code to get a free black hardware package when buying a Prusa steel frame. Or if you're looking for the whole package, you can use this code to get a free filament spool when buying the Prusa Black Edition. Go check them out, their prices are amazing. I'll leave a link to their website down in the description, along with all the mods I featured with this frame. Also remember to tag ThinkMaking in Instagram or Twitter to get a chance to get your creations featured. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button and consider supporting me through Patreon or by buying some cool stuff in my merch store. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're wondering what to watch next, check out this video. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.